Maya, come here. It is free now. It is free. The nearer the better. We are looking for uh, nearness. Close, closeness. Nearness. Assalamu alaikum. Or peace be upon you, with you, within you. And welcome. 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 What's the sort of Netherlands? Welcome. 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 Same. Closeness, closeness, you know, is an important point. And, uh, oh yeah, the end is. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's right. Put up your handies, fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> What is the name of this meeting? Uh, Sheikh Yahya? Any name? Workshop. Workshop. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> that means we have a shop here and we are selling work. You can buy in Yahya. Anyone likes to buy some work? We are selling. A workshop. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> this one makes also me makes me laugh. Always. And I'm getting childish when I'm with him. But I have to be with him a lot of time. So what shall we do? Yes. You have a question? You make like this. No? See? Doesn't matter. No? Uh, where, we were, where we were stopping? Uh, did we stop or, or not? <laughs> Welcome, we said. And we said that it is important that point to be close. Yeah, our meeting is about to be close. Or we have a word in Arabic, which is a, one of the key words 
of the Sufi way, and it is uns, uns, uns uh, is Arabic and means familiarity. Ah, we have uns uh. in Dutch. Yeah, in German also we say uns. Yeah. When, when we say we, uns, uh, maybe there is a connection because we have so many words from the Arabic uh, culture, every Arabic language, very many words. Really, there's a book about it. If you will be astonished, what which words coming from Arabic, what we are using, yeah. coming through Spain and the uh, thousand uh, century, first eleventh uh, century, tenth century, eleventh century, twelfth century, thirteenth century, you know, they were coming, so many from the culture. And then later from the Ottomans, also coming, kings, they like the Ottoman uh, ways. They look to the Ottoman Sultan, what they are wearing and what they are doing and what they were eating. You know, so many, whole culture, we have so many. <coughs> Uns is familiarity. And there is important thing we have to we are on the way to feel familiarity when we are, we have a master Morana Sheikh Mohammed Nazim al Hakani Kubrusi he is from Cyprus Morana uh, Sheikh Nazim he died he passed away two and a half years ago in the age of 20 uh, of uh, 92 and uh, everyone, if you ask the people who met, who met him, when they saw him the first time, they felt familiarity coming from somewhere. There was familiarity. They, they looked to this man, they saw him the first time in their life, and they feel familiar, more familiar with their own father, own mother, own uh, blood family, yeah, they feel familiar. Because what we are uh, saying is it's a, familiar, uh, it's a spiritual familiarity. Yeah, there is a familiarity, familiarity with your surroundings, with your house and family and education and society. There is also a kind of familiarity but, familiarity, but it is more like with our, more like with our ego, with, with, with the soul, lower soul, you know, connected with the material soul, material, physical uh, living, material living, it's more connected. There is also a kind of habits familiarity and this and that. And this goes, this comes and goes, you know, it comes and goes, it's not permanent. It's changing and if there is a fight between you and your sister or mother or father or relatives, then familiarity is gone. <laughs> Where it is? Where yesterday it was there. Today there is opposite. There is what is the opposite word from familiar familiarity? Uh, you, you feel like strangers. Fremd. That's my fremdheit. What is the English in the English word? Estrangement. Huh? Estrangement. 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 You feel estrangement. Yes. Far away from someone. You don't know him. That means you don't know that side of that person coming out. You never knew it. It's coming out. I don't know you. This is you. This is also the husband and wife. You say, what, what, what? After the uh, marriage night, next day. She, 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 
Permanent. That is from your spiritual family. Madhya Sahidi. We are asking uh, our Sheikh, our master, or your master, or your guide, anyone who has a guide, he is father, mother, but more than that. Because he is not father, mother, or friend, or son, any friend, companion, every everything. He is everything actually. And, but for both worlds, this world and over this world, after, you are, after we leave our bodies, and the next one, and with another form, we are also with them. We are also with those souls which we love here, we are also in the other world. And so they there is a spirituality and it is a home, you can say home, it is a home feeling, spirituality. this familiarity is like you are peaceful, you are peaceful. One of the signs, one of the signs that you met your master, the master who is guiding you, sometimes you don't know, people saying, I don't know if he is a real one or he is a fake one or People saying, be careful, maybe you charlatan, charlatan. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are signs, but there are signs. There are signs, and one of the signs is that you feel completely in peace in front of that person or in, beside that person when you're, when you're with him. You feel completely in peace, tranquility, and familiarity, like home. You feel home. And one of the signs is that you are uh, thinking, your thinking is uh, stopping. Your thinking is stopping and your heart inspirations, they are coming up. And the, this mind uh, thinking which is always on and uh, holding us in the lower Lower consciousness, we are saying Alltagsbewusstsein, yeah, the, the daily consciousness, and that, is, that means the normal, the, the dunya consciousness, the world, material consciousness, holds you there, the thinking. And prevents that you get familiar with yourself. Because if you get familiar with your sheikh, with the guide, and with your spiritual life, it means you get also uh, familiar with your self, yes, with your higher self. Yeah, you have a higher self, which you normally the people they don't know it. Most of people they don't know about that, and they never experience it, and. Some of them they experience that they have another reality, a spiritual reality which is much bigger, greater, more precious and it, is, uh, it has endless treasures, endless treasures, endless treasures, very big treasures. Uh, so that when you go on that journey, never finishing, there is no end for this journey. It is always continuing. After this life also continuing. Even saints and prophets who passed away, their souls are alive and 
they are experiencing more and more and more and more, never finishing. I felt that uh, home feeling in three, three main occasions. One was when I saw Morana Sheikh Nazim first time, or also not for, or always when, when we were with him, was that same feeling. Then when we, 78, 1978, we went to Mecca, Hijaz, to Mecca and Medina, Saudi Arabia, for visiting the Kaaba in Mecca and visiting the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We were on the Sufi way and we understand after some time that we uh, also we uh, we are Muslims in a way, Muslims in the universal universal understanding which means that you are Muslim means to find peace through what? Through surrendering. You surrender your will to the will of God, you can say. Yeah, that is the Muslim. And that way we understand and we, we went to that country to visit the holy places there. And when we came to Medina, to the tomb of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, it was night time. It was maybe Tahajuta, maybe 2.30, something like this, 2.30, 3 o'clock. And the Saudis, they're very funny people. They closed, they closed the mosque at night, which is complete nonsense. And it's not the traditional way, but they left the traditional way, Saudis, completely since at least 250 years ago. They are called Wahhabis. Maybe, maybe you have heard that word. Doesn't matter. They, are, they left it and now everywhere they do it, they close it. Night time is closed. God's house should always be open. Cannot close it. Church is closed, mosque closed, synagogues closed, everything closing, closing, closing. That is the buildings. But your heart is also a house of God and it's always open. Alhamdulillah. Yes, and the heart of the saint is also a house of God. And in the, you are always invited 24 hours. <laughs> yes. In Germany we have the day of the open mosque. <laughs> the third of October. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, very progressive country, Germany. Uh, the day of the open mosque. All the mosques or all one mosque? Hmm? All, all, all. All. Whole Germany. They have that. That is a <coughs> holiday in Germany. It was a, it's a day of the reunion from East and West Germany from 189. You know that day, third uh, of October and. This holiday, and that day they choose it for the day of the open mosque also. A whole Germany. They invite all the Turkish people, Arabs, they, 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 they invite the people, Christians and other people, anyone to, to visit their mosques and to explain about Islam and spread about the mosque and these things. We also, we, we, are, we are making this. But the, our mosque is always open. It's, it's 365 days open. And also night time, 24 hours open. And it should be like this. Why we say it? Yes, well, you tell me, Sister Mama, what I just got to say. That's all, John. Yes. And then we came to. Medina, we migrated actually from Germany in 70, 
age. My friends, we have five friends and some children, we have families. And we said we want to see these countries and we, we go and we don't know if we're coming, maybe we're not coming back. We, we have make intention to migration. The other way around, not coming to Germany, we're looking for, for, I don't know, for what. No, we, we went there. And in Frankfurt at the airport, there was a dustbin. We put our clothes in the dustbin, our this, this western trousers, jeans, t-shirts, jackets, everything. And we put on a long <laughs> garment <laughs> and a turban, a wired one. We didn't know how to do it really. And we said, okay, we go. And we came like this to Saudi Arabia. The Saudis also they, they said, they are, these people, they must be crazy. <laughs> This is German? This is not German. This is an idiot. <laughs> look how they look. They look like, I don't know, from coming from, like Bedouins coming from the desert, or I don't know from which country, Afghanistan or Pakistan, I don't know. Very funny people, no Samsonite. From Germany you have to have Samsonite, and the tie, and the suit, and you must be very clever. And <laughs> Not like no hair, <laughs> beard. <laughs> Saudi. We were strangers in Germany. We came to Saudi Arabia. We were also strangers there. Doesn't matter. Then we went finally to Medina, and we came there three o'clock at night, and the mosque was closed. And but you want to visit the Prophet. Everything is, you can say, built on love. Yes, our creation or the creation, Allah's creation, God's creation is built on love. Is created for love, created through love, created in love forever. This is one thing what all the prophets, they are telling us and the saints and which is to be experienced, yes, that is, and so we have some love for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we are, want to visit him, that is also good manner, good behavior, if you visit Medina, the first thing you are doing, you go to the tomb of the Prophet, you say, salamu alaykum, and you know that he is hearing, because he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when I am gone from this world and you greet me, I hear you. I hear you and I answer you. He said that. And it's like that. And but it was closed, we could not enter. But there is a in that case if you if you can there is a big wall outside one of the walls in front, big quite a big wall and there is a little window, maybe like this. And through this you are opposed to greet when you are from outside. Yes? And we looked for that window, somebody showed this to us. <laughs> and we went in. You can just you, you can stick your face inside, you know, just Salaam <laughs> alaikum, Ya Rasulallah, I for I for salam, Ya Sayyidina Ya Habibullah, I for I for salam, Ya Sayyidina Ya Nabiullah, I for salam, I for salam. A thousand salams, you send thousand salams, thousand salams to the Prophet, so it's hard. And I did that also, I put my, I said, Salaam Alaikum. And I felt, in that moment, I felt home. I don't know why, but at this moment, I put my face into that little <laughs> frame, coming and feeling to me from home. Some voice inside me said, you arrived home from where? I don't know, from very far somehow. From very far, but you cannot explain. From very far, reaching home. MashaAllah. And my Sheikh was with me that time. He was not, he was like my Sheikh. I had another sheikh that time, another master, 
and that one was a representative. He was with me, with us, with our direct contact, Sheikh contact. And he had another, he had uh, another Vani Munk, you know, he was, he was quite a genius somehow, a genius of perceivement. He could perceive things I didn't never perceived. He perceived this. And he said to me that Prophet was answering my salams. I don't know what he said. Inshallah. He felt that. He felt it. Or he saw it. I don't know how he how he makes this, but it was like this. But it's anyway, it's true because the Prophet said, I am answering. And And the third, this is the second. <coughs> First is the Sheikh, the second that. And the third is when we went to Damascus one year later. Was when we heard when we were there in Saudi Arabia for one year, we heard about Maulana Sheikh Nazim. We heard about him and we 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 want to know him, we want to see him. So we went from Mecca or Medina, we went to Damascus. 1979. And there we came on the 5th of February. We arrived there and our Sheikh he was coming down from the mosque and we meeting on the street on a little place and that's the same first time when we saw him. And his look, he looked at me uh, very, uh, I never saw such a look. You know, the eyes, the eyes, how he is looking. It was, there was uh, nothing. There was nothing. No uh, judgment, no expectation, no feeling, no emotion, no thinking. Just a look clear look, like a waterfall, you know, a clear waterfall, when the water coming out of the mountain, let's say, you know, a clear, very clear water, just water, and it's running, 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 not keeping anything, something's keeping, no, no, it's running, very clear, very pure, running, running, floating, running. He looked at me like this, I don't know what to say, and he was scanning me, with that look, he scanned me in one moment, he scanned me from up to down and deep to the bottom of the soul. And one look is enough. That I understand later. But in that moment there was just nothing, you know. And he did, didn't say anything also. To my wife he was saying something. When he said to her, how many propellers had the machine when you came today from Medina. He, he asked her how many problems, and she said, and it was a funny question because it was a very difficult flight. We were praying all the time, Ya Allah, <laughs> because when landing in Damascus it was, <laughs> we were not thinking to uh, reach safely. And he knew it, <laughs> he said, how many? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yes, and that was, and to sit with him, that was a feeling, the third, that was a feeling of familiarity. And then the third, I want to come to the third point. The third point is also a strange thing that you are, that I felt after some time in Damascus, we had a house from, built from earth, from clay, earth, and it was not very well, nothing like this, it was just the earth in our rooms, you know, but it's a good feeling, and if you make like this, you have a very good feeling, you know, with that earth, it's reddish, reddish earth. And I had, and I had, had a connection with that earth. Also, I cannot explain this, but there was a clear feeling, and I saw it spiritually, that it belongs to my, it's my home, it's my home, Damascus is my home, I don't know why, and I'm belonging to that earth. We are also from earth. 
No? We are from clay. And we I belong to that to that earth. That is also a sign. Also uh, there's another home we have and that is Bukhara in Uzbekistan. I also belong to Uzbekistan. That was shown in a dream. The saying someone, it was not me, it was a brother, he said that one, he's belonging to his home, Bukhara. Yes, Bukhara, yeah, because in Bukhara and in <coughs> Tashkent and many towns, different towns, there is in Uzbekistan nine tombs of masters of the chain of our master. Our master, Murana Sheikh Nazim, he has a chain. He's the last one from a chain. It's a chain. Now it's his son. He's the last one from the chain. Sheikh Mehmet Defendi. Before he was the last one and his chain goes back to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You can follow that. Step by step. Master for master. Yes, it's going you see him, and this is his son. He is now the Sheikh of the Sufi order on the right. Yes. And there is Master, 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 until you reach Sayyidina Muhammad. And nine of them, they are from Uzbekistan in between. This is 40 Masters. All of, all, all of them, they are 40, now 41. Up to our Sheikh was 40, now it's 41. And Nine of them, they were not as big as it has to do with that. That science that this home feeling or familiarity feeling is all a spiritual thing. You know, and our Sheikh always he said, I am your, you know, your father. Uh, you have a father, but normal parents, parents, blood parents, they have the children for some time. Then also they grow up, maybe they go out of the house or there's coming strange things, enmity. Nowadays very much, they never stay together. You know, they go when they're 16, 15, they leave, they have nothing to do with their parents. I was like that also. You know, this is terrible. It is society life, you know. And so, he was saying, I'm, you are, I'm with you not only in this life but in the next life also. And this is important. It's a familiarity going over this life, more than this life, a spiritual family. You have a spiritual family. You know, even you are separated from your family, you have a spiritual family. And my spiritual family is more near to me, I must say. More near. M not so strange. My own family was was strange, more strange, uh, in the way. And my brothers and sisters, they are fam very familiar to me somehow, as as I know him since long. And there is a secret. You know them not from this life only, but from the other life. Yes, yeah, from the other life. That is God's secrets, secrets and secret which he has with his human being, with his servants, that he created the souls. When he created them, there was he created everything. It was not need to create, you know, like some religions they are saying he created. He, he was very busy for six days. <laughs> then he was so tired also. <laughs> On the seventh day, he, he was so tired, he had to rest. Sunday, he said, I'm resting. <laughs> I'm not doing anything today. Uh, it's, not, it's not like that. He's not sleeping and he doesn't need sleep and rest and anything like that. He's not from anything you can compare. You cannot understand. We cannot. It's impossible. But he created only with a sound. Kun fire kun. In the beginning, this Christian, they are saying, in the beginning was a word, and the word was with God, and God was the word. No? It's very famous. That is a, a thing. 
So we are heading to this familiarity, this kind of familiarity, the spiritual kind of familiarity. And when you are familiar with someone, you may open your heart towards that person. No, there is also on the level of human beings. If you are familiar, you are familiar to your partner, to your lover, to your to your lover, to your <coughs> husband, wife. You are from you know, also relatives. Some of them, yes, yeah, depends. If you if you feel familiarity or a friend, sister, brother, then you are willing to open yourself. No, that is one of the signs. And that is important. Spiritual familiarity is also like this, you are opening. And you are opening your heart. And because it's about the heart. Heart, you can say also consciousness, in the, in the modern world. That you have a big heart, you know. You have a heart or a consciousness which is bigger than the universe. You know, you have such a big secret and such an honored secret, such a sacred secret also with God, that everything else in the creation is vanishing from it. That you are, that the universe thrown into your heart is vanishing like an atom. You cannot see it anymore. There is God's gift to human beings. Because as the story goes, as you know, uh, he, uh, he, he created uh, them, the human being, more than or higher in their rank like, than angels. Angels, they are good beings, always good, lightful beings. They are serving God all the time and giving and spreading blessings all the time, helping human beings. And so there are so many things about angels that they are pure. And human being is not pure. He is a weak one and he has... Uh, he makes terrible things. He makes terrible things, human being. And when God... That's how the story, go, uh, the story goes. When God let the angels know which kind of creation he want to... Uh, make the top of creation, the, cre the highest rank of creation, uh, he said, it is my vice regent on earth, Khalifa, in the Jahana home Khalifa. Uh, I make them Khalifa. I make human being a Khalifa for me, God is saying in the Holy Quran. No? I make vice regent. My representative on this globe, in this material world is a human being. Yes. He announced, so to say, and the angels, they, they got the idea and they said, uh, Oh God, why you are a human being? He's, he's, a, he's, he's a killer. He's a liar, cheater and killer and a terrible one. He makes so and you can see what he's doing. Why you are that one He's the he's top, he's the best. They are asking the angels. Why they are asking? I don't know. They, they shouldn't ask, but they asked. And, and God said, shut up. Very short answer. Shut up. You don't know what I know. <coughs> Finish. You cannot discuss with God. No. Sometimes he asks us, friendly, he says, do you like to... But he means... Do it, do it, you better do it. <laughs> he's very, uh, very friendly, he has his friendliness, it's one of his characteristics, to be polite. Yes, because he gives us a chance. You know, if you say from your own love, from your own love, respect, love, you do something for that, then, then you are good for you. But if you're not, then he, has, he makes other means. 
to give you his honor also. <laughs> when I was, astaghfirullah, <laughs> but as I tell you, so it doesn't matter. When I went uh, to go to the Sufi way, they invite me to the Sufi way, the situation and the people and my friends, and but I, my ego said, no, 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 don't do that. Oh, you are, you are a very clever one. You are an artist, and you enjoy your life, and you have so many friends everywhere, <laughs> and uh, taverns and pubs and theaters and uh, high life. I said I, that I was seeing and just feeling it. If I go on that way. <laughs> Mm -mm. So I said, mm. Mm. and because I said, mm, 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 mm. like a donkey, you know. He <laughs> what do you do with a donkey if he is not going? <laughs> Wait. You push him from the back, and someone, if you have someone else, you from the front and from the ears and from the back, you. It was like that. So it's okay in the end, you know. The result is the same in the end, you know. So he is like that. And yes, this is human beings' secrets which he has with his Lord. And it's giving from the Lord. Everything is giving from the Lord, nothing from which is not coming from the Lord. And he said, and there is a very important saying, and one saying from the Prophet through the Prophet's tongue, but he speak in the first person that Allah is speaking through the tongue of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's saying, I am uh, so great that nothing can contain me. You know, Allah is, God is beyond, beyond everything. You're not able to understand. It's impossible. He is Kulwa Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yarad Waram Yurad, Waram Yakullahu Kufuan Ahad. He is one, only one, there is nothing, only one, unique, one, Ahad, Wahid, Samad, independent, completely independent from anything, and eternal, also eternal, was always, is now, and will be like he always was. Ahad, Samad, Lam Yalit, he was not born, so that there was something else and then he was born. No. <laughs> and Lam Yalit, Walam Yulat. Ah, no, he is not giving birth. Now, first is coming, he is not giving birth to anything, that he is coming from his being something else, like a birth, you know. No son, no, 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 no aunt, no uncle. No grandchildren, no, 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 no relatives, no. He is unique, lam yalit, walam yulat, and he was not born. That was what I, what I just said, he doesn't, doesn't come from anywhere. Walam yakullahu kufu wanat, and nothing you can, not, there's nothing you can compare with him. What a human being can say, think, feel, experience, express, he cannot find, see, or do anything what you can compare with God. The creation, the creation is, is creation. That creation has nothing to do with God, so to say, with His being, with His essence. You cannot look to His essence, impossible. What you have is the creation and that He is manifesting Himself, not Himself. You cannot say, you can say Himself, yes. But through what? Through characteristics. Yes, through characteristics, he is manifesting himself. Yes, you can say, I see, I feel, I experience love. Yes, that love I know is coming from God. God created that love, and I see love in that person. Yes, or oh, in that person. 
or in that, or everyone. Love is Yawadud, the name for that aspect. God's aspect of love is Wadud. Wadud is Arabic. Yes, Wadud. This is a very old language, Semitic old language, and it has secrets, and it is the best word to express that uh, love. Ya Wadud. Ya means O. Oh. When you say Ya, when I say, because God says, He said, He's saying to us, Call me, you know, call me. I created you, call me. If you need help, if you need anything, anything, it doesn't matter what. If you need, call me. Call me by what? Call me by my names, of course. Or what you are saying, you have to, he has names. Everything has a name. Everything has a name, and that makes a difference between human beings and other, other beings, that they know the names, they were taught the names. God Almighty taught Adam all names. All the names. And in the holy book there is 99 names, very famous, you know, the 99 beautiful names of Allah Almighty. You know, you, maybe you heard about this 99 names. No, the beautiful 99 names, that is important. <laughs> Not the 99 names, no, no. The beautiful 99 names, Asma al Husna. The beautiful 99 names of God. There is 99 names revealed in the holy scripture. And they are called beautiful names because they have one in common. They are all beautiful. They are all beautiful. There is a saying from Prophet, God is beautiful and he loves the beauty. Allahu Jamil wa yuhibu Jamal. Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty. That is the, the main nature and in common of all names, of all aspects, all aspects of God have one in common, beauty. And your soul also is a manifestation of God, your soul, your secrets. You have, every human being has seven names, at least, or more, but seven names, basic names, he has every human being. And every human being, every name from this is one aspect of God. He is manifesting himself through you. Yes? You must be beautiful. Our oh, Shaykh, you always see a very funny aura. He said, be beautiful. <laughs> he said, Guzel all. There, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Korkma, Guzel all. Shirki all ma. Don't be ugly. Yeah, you can choose. That means you can choose. You can choose. You can try. If you feel ugly, be beautiful. Change it. You can change. Yeah. And so, everything, there's nothing in the whole creation, it doesn't matter what it is, where you can say, this is something, something else, I, 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 uh, no, there's everything with, from atoms, molecules, up to galaxies, everything is a manifestation of God, belongs to some name. There's 99 names, but it's not only 99 names, there's thousands, millions, milliards, there is no finishing the names of God Almighty. But we are limited of what we can learn and experience. And so that is, you call him and for instance, let's say you want to open your heart more. Yes, ah, I, I forgot. He said, nothing can contain me because I am, yeah, that's, no, this was a description that he is beyond everything. Nothing can contain me. There is nothing in this creation, what I created, which can contain me, could contain me, except one thing. One thing in my, the whole creation can contain me. That is your heart. The heart of the human being. Heart of the human being is created like that, that it can contain me. That is a big news. <laughs> very big secret, very big honor, very big thing to be discovered, you know, to be, to be realized. 
Self-realization is that, that, you are, that we are getting there. Yes? That is what he said. And that is why he said, call me by my names. And these names which we are singing also now and practicing a little bit, they are healing. They, are, they have healing power because you want to be, what is healing? Healing means you want to be whole. Yeah? You want to be whole. You want to be perfect. You want to be everything what is inside you, what is created to be coming out, all your treasures, all your different aspects, everything will be, should be there in all its beauty, all its good things should be coming out, should be perfect, should be, and then from there we will see that there is endless, it is endless. And that we are not this body. We finish the identification with our body only, physical body, the world body, I don't know, and uh, material things, we are identifying our thinking, our stories, our ego, our emotions, we are saying, ah, oh, this is me, I am that one, and the people know also that, ah, oh, <laughs> Sheikh Hassan is coming, oh, <laughs> uh, what is it, Sheikh Hassan, uh, Sheikh. It's very similar. Sheikh Hassan, Sheikh, Sheikh, Sheikh Hassan, Sheikh Hassan. No Arabs here? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I forgot what it means, Alhamdulillah. Eh? I forgot the meaning of Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah means uh, thanks to God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Praise and thanks. Okay, thank you. It means actually, what's your name? Sorry. Yani. Yanin? Yeah, yes. Yanin. I'm Dutch. Yani. Yani. Yes. Yani. Thank you. Yani. I am Hassan. Mm -hmm. Not Sheikh Hassan. No, Hassan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yanin. That means the word Alhamdulillah means that that all praises and all things belongs to Allah, to, to God. Mm -hmm. Finally. Firstly and finally, you know. We are thinking also each other. I think to you, if you do something wrong, I think, I'm thanking you, it is Shukran. important. If you don't, if you're not thankful to people, then you're also not thankful to Allah, to God, you know. But finally we know everything coming from, from Him, through human beings, through the human beings. So, to be whole, that is understood, no? To be Whole means you are in complete harmony, you are sound, you are healthy. It's healthy, it's complete, completeness, healthiness, perfection. That is what you want to reach. That gives you perfect peace, perfect wisdom, perfect beauty, perfect power, perfect mercy, perfect everything perfect. That, what, that is what you want to be. If you have that, you are more healthy. Everything, every part, you are taking, you are more perfect. Until the puzzle is puzzle, is complete. You know, you take. If you, and then we are the beginning of the, of the way, of the Sufi way, and anyway, it is that that you are seeing that you are not perfect. You know, that you see a sickness, a, a, a unperfection, uncompleteness, imperfection. You see bodily, we see this easily, and we run to the doctor all the time, and we take so many medicines. You know, quickly we have something, doctor, antibiotics, yes, for the next time also, we are running. But spiritual is the same thing. We have a sickness from bad characteristics of our egos. We are greedy, we are blind, we are egoistic, we are egocentric, we love our stories, we are um, 
thousands from these uh, very nice things <laughs> of Oegi. <laughs> One said, he said it's 80,000 different aspects, some main. Envy is the biggest one. Envy and proud, they are the main. And anger. These three, they are the main. The main. Anger, to be angry. There is all kind of anger. There is the anger which is coming out. This is the easiest, actually, if you shout beat or what that, that you can see you can see it it's open and you can work on it you know but everyone has this cooking anger you know this rebel this silence rebellion you know against the will of god you know you are not accepting no why he did that to me why i am so unhappy mm, i cannot accept this mm. Uh, not agreeing. Uh, <laughs> Germans, they are very, very. No, Germans, they are, most of them they are. No. <laughs> Guten Tag. Tag. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greeting of the German. Tag. Wie geht's? Wie geht's auch? Könnte besser gehen. It's Germans. Be happy, you are Dutch. We are more to the seaside, Alhamdulillah. No? Fresh air. Yeah, it's like that. Everyone has this cooking rebellion. Is that doesn't like to, you know. And this is actually bringing a damage. Also, when you are really angry with someone, you are, you are putting enmity to someone. All these kind of things, endless things, is giving damage to your own soul. It's a sickness. A serious sickness, giving serious sickness, heart attacks, here, um, how you say, strokes, heart attacks, all blood pressure, all these things coming from that fire. It's a fire actually, it's a fire. Anger is a fire. A burning, damaging, harmful fire. There's another fire, light fire is different. But that fire is harming. Uh, pride is the king of everything, and there is shaitans, the, the, the most biggest characteristic of the, of, of the devil, of the shaitan, of the satan, you know, because, uh, but it's very, together with envy, together with envy, envy, to be envious, envy, yeah, envious, but first is pride, because when God gave to the human being the highest rank in creation, the, his vice regents on earth, his representative, then Shaitan said, because he was he, he's a very clever one, he knows all holy books by heart, he knows them. Uh, he's a theologian. He knows everything and prayers also he knows. He was praying, he was teaching the angels. He was a teacher to the angels. And he was thinking, <coughs> That, that highest monk, he was also knowing there is the highest point and everyone was waiting, who is getting that highest point? And Shaitan also was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. Because I am. <laughs> Look what I am. He looked to himself. To his own self. He looked and said, ah, you are nobody like you. And he was thinking he get after God just Shaitan coming. But Allah said, <laughs> you may make, his, he asked him to make a prostration, prostration in front of human being. Make prostration in front of Adam. Yeah, that's, you know the story. It's an all uh, Jewish, yes. Christian. Yeah, make sajda, prostration in front of, of human being. And he said, no. Angels, they were all making sajda, the angels. They are obeying. That shaitan, that uh, satan, he said, I am 
much finer. I'm such sublime. He was not from uh, flesh, bones, blood. You know, that's it. For that dirty one, this this human being from flesh and bones and dirty, and also he will kill, he will cheat this idiot. I make such a in front of that one, and I'm such a fine one from a material you don't need to eat, and so you're always the same. And no. He said to Allah, no, no. And his biggest argument was Tawheed. The Tawheed is uni, unity. La ilaha illallah. I explained that later. La ilaha illallah means there is no God but God. Or in Christians they are saying, I am God, you are Lord. Don't have other gods beside me. No first command in Christians. The same. La ilaha illallah is only him existing. And Shaitan said, I believe only in you, and I make sajda and prostration only for you, for no one else. No, my, my belief is perfect. Unity, yeah. Consciousness, yeah. And, yeah, he was the first Wahhabi also. <laughs> Wahhabi also saying the same thing. The Saudis, they are Wahhabi. They say, oh, no prophet, no, no saint. No, no, no. We are only. They say this. He was he said, still the, the boss of Wahhabi people in Saudi as Shaitan up today. He said, I believe only in you and Shaitan, he kicked him in the bings, dings bumps. <laughs> Good kick and say, bye bye, out of paradise. <laughs> you are, what he said to him, you are proud. You have pride. You are proud. These stories, they are stories, you say they are fairy tale stories, but they are teaching, they are pure teaching, they are very precious, good teachings. You see, he is proud. Human being cannot be proud. Because what? Because he is making mistake. He is weak. Human being is weak. And it's by the will of the Lord that the human being is weak and that he is making mistakes. Because he can never be proud. How he can be proud? For what? You are egoist. You make mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. Yes. Then you say, when you mistake, when you make a mistake, you say, and you want back to, you want to come back to your familiarity, to your holy family, to prophets, saints, and to God. You want to, you say, Astaghfirullah. You say, forgive me, O oh my Lord. There is a secret. There is a secret. That he doesn't have. Shaitan doesn't have that. That has human being. <coughs> this is so now we are seeing that we are sick, we have a sickness, incompleteness, unperfection, and we want to be perfect. And one of the ways is to to call God for help, that He is giving us spiritually the the, to be whole, to be healthy, to find the harmony through his names. He said, call me by my names. If you say, I am very angry, let's say, like me, for instance, this is my, one of my, my, my not favorite, my, <laughs> my heaviest, my heaviest uh, characteristics, bad characteristics. Our Sheikh always said when I came to visit him to Cyprus, he said, Hassan came. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he makes like like the like the fiercest German. He makes a very angry person. <laughs> I'm a standard. Yes, and if you feel that, you use the name Halim, for instance. Halim, yeah, ya Halim. Halim is a name for patience, to carry, to be easy, to be soft, softness, and what is the word? There's another word. Sanftmütig of Deutsch. Eh? Gentle. Gentleness. 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 Inner gentleness. Yeah, and, and wideness and carry. You, can, you carry your halim. Halim. 
Halim, Ya Halim, Ya Halim, Ya Halim. We say every day, our people, our followers of our Sheikh, from our Master, every day 100 times Ya Halim. Since 40 years I'm doing that. <laughs> but it's not yet, not yet, the results, not yet, but we don't give up. There's a homeopathy, uh, homeopathy, it's like homeopathy, if you say Ya Halim, it's like homeopathy, and homeopathy is you have the worst. First it gets, gets worse, worse, then it gets better. I mean, 40 years in the face, it's getting worse. <laughs> maybe I reach the point now, maybe, I hope. When you reach the worst one, then maybe, slowly, slowly. <laughs> but don't, that's only an example. If you want to have more love, say Yawadud. If you have a relationship crisis, the crisis of relationships, <laughs> say Yawadud. It, it brings miracles, really. Really, it's experience. Brings miracles. Yawadud, Yawadud. Wadud is that one, that word which widens your heart, means widens your consciousness. You are going wider. You are creating room, as we heard today from famous Mr. Eckhart Tolle, yeah, to create room, breathing, watching your breath. <laughs> if you are in trouble, in anger, for anger, very important to watch your breath. Watch your breath, in and out breath, only watching, nothing else. You, f you create room, you know. That together with Zikrullah, that is what I'm saying, is Zikrullah, using names and repeating them, that is called Zikrullah, that together creates room, endless room. You know, that is important on the way of healing, healing the soul, healing the heart. And you have, for all aspects you have names, you know, to use it. And it was, it was said from uh, our Sheikh, the Sheikh of our Sheikh, he was uh, from Dagestan, Sheikh Abdullah Dagestan, he was 120 years old in the end of his life and it was said that he was never making one breath without consciousness. Every breath, in breath, out breath of his life was done by, with consciousness. Never, not one breath without consciousness. Also Shavon Lakshman, otherwise you are the same. Yeah, that teaches something that you are, your breath is a is, is very is an essential thing. Breath is between you and God. The bridge between you, your, your, your material you, let's say, your physical, uh, and God. Breath. That's very important. Together with the words, with the holy words, you will find healing and all the good qualities, beauty, wisdom, and whatever you want. You must ask. There is some introduction, no? It's enough because... Uh, yes? uh, uh, maybe I wasn't uh, completely consciousness, but I forgot, or maybe I didn't hear Halim in the meaning of. Halim means in, um, in, in gentleness. Okay. It's the opposite of anger, you know. You are carrying something. If something coming to you, or something you don't like, you say Halim. Halim is an endless opening of softness. Uh, gentleness, but there's another word also. But, humble. Huh? Humble. What? Humble. Humble. Humble is in it, but there's another word for humbleness, for sure. Uh, but it's also. Uh, sure. That is right. I mean, all names they are always linked together, you know. You cannot finally, you know, you will find links to all the names also, you know. They are all linked. Humble, humbleness, you must be humble. To be Halim, you must be humble also. Anger is a sign of proud, actually, I must admit. Yeah, anger, anger is a sign of, of pride, to be proud. 
But when you are angry, you you will say, I have I have the right to be angry. Yeah, it should not be like this. No, I know better. You should be like that. <laughs> yes. But Allah makes like this. You have to accept. Even difficulties you must accept. You have to carry other characters going on your nerves. You have to carry your own character. You go on your own nerves. You yourself. You, have to, you must carry. With dignity you carry it, with consciousness you carry it, with understanding you carry it, with softness, with Halim, Halim. You ask Halim, you know, then you, he shows you the way. Wadud, love, very important. Latif, to understand more. Latif is connected with your understanding, but not, they say mind. Akal, akal, but it's not my, they translate with mind, but it's not that mind. It's a mind, it's an understanding, it's a fine substance which is, has to do with the heart, with your heart. It's a heart understanding. It's a, it's, it's a fine, you can distinguish between truth and wrong things. False and, uh, uh, false and truth. Wisdom. Real light and fake light. Wisdom. Has to do with hikmah. Wisdom is another name, hakim. Hakim. You know, there are all these aspects, you know, fine, very fine things. That's right, it's with wisdom. Wisdom it can only come from the heart, not from here. That's true. And so on. There is, and there's names, you can occupy with this. There's a new book, very, I think, uh, it's a, quite a new book, which is interesting, I think. I didn't read it all, I read some of it. It's called uh, Physicians of the Heart. Physicians of the Heart, and in, in German it's Medicinus Herz. Physicians of the Heart. It's a very big book, and it's written by four uh, authors. You know that? Yeah, yeah. Four authors, and all of them, they have Sufi connections. And they are also... Uh, I think psychologists and scientists all at the same time, they have some, they know about this also, and they put it in a very nice way. They explain each name and for what it is, and from aspect, or from the roots of the letters also. Very nice explaining. New one, very exp amazing. Amazing book. I can write it down for you. You can. I want only to show, it's a big thing, you know, it's a huge subject. You know, if you enter in it, you come into the ocean. <laughs> and it's enough for now. And we use some, better some practice. We have some practice in China. And I will try to... We want, we want to sing some of the names together in China. Before that, I make a, a kind of introduction. I, I, I try to, ma to make a kind of music, uh, some notes I'm using for um, so that we get in tune. Yes? that we get in more in tune. The more we are in tune together, the better we can sing together and the singing has... We are aiming, we are not singing for singing only, or to have a nice music. That is not the aim. The aim is to use the music to come to an experience where we experience everyone, yeah, we look, but the aim is to be in unity. He is uni unique, and we praise, we go to, towards that one, and if we go together, we are in unity. Means we go away from here, and we go to the heart. As much as we are together in the heart, we will be united. If my thinking and my judging and my <coughs> seeing and looking about you 
is not, you know, the normal thing, the, the thing is going away, then I see you differently. I see your soul, and you see my soul. And suddenly you, you are together, you don't know why. You know, and there is, there is a moment, even, even there is only a moment of unity that is very precious. If you can reach seconds, it's very good. Minutes, very good. Five minutes, it's a miracle. Yes. And I'm, I use one note, and you can use it for this beginning, for this introduction part. You can uh, make one note like humming, humming a note, if you like. You know, you can make mm, what we have here. Hat gestimmt. Mm, yeah, you can say. Mm, 